There exists a group of diseases known as neglected tropical diseases, so-called because they primarily affect warm climated countries that are poor and are largely ignored by richer countries that can afford to do anything about them. Arguably, the most important of these diseases is one called schistosomiasis. Now I know what you're thinking, Gesundheit, right? <laughs> But it's not a sneeze, it's actually a parasite. It's a type of worm. A worm that can live in your gut and cause multiple organ failure if left untreated. Currently, this worm infects more than 300 million people worldwide. For perspective, that's around 10 Canadas. What I would like to do is to develop a vaccine against this worm, something safe that can be given to millions of people before they get sick to prevent them from getting sick. And to do this, I'd like to use a bacteria called Salmonella. My name is Nick, and I would like to cure a disease that sounds like a sneeze using a bacteria named after a fish. <laughs> now, I know when I first heard of this, I thought, hey, Salmonella, that stuff's on chicken, right? And it could kill you. What are we thinking? <laughs> well, in my lab, we're lucky enough to work with a form of Salmonella that's domesticated. So much like a tiger isn't the same as your cat's snowball back home, we have the house cat version of salmonella, and it's perfectly safe. What I do in the lab is the molecular equivalent of trying to tie a piece of our worm, the stomach to be exact, onto the backs of our house cat. And then this may be given to people in the form of a small pill. Once your body has seen the stomach of a worm, your immune system is able to take this and use it as practice. It's actually able to learn to fight against what you've shown it and get better at fighting it in the future. So that if a worm tries to infect you, you can attack its stomach, preventing it from eating and keeping you safe. Now you can imagine as easily as taking a small tablet, much easier than most vaccines where you have to sit through being stabbed by that pesky needle, and then your immune system handles the rest. No more worms. Thank you.